Today we will start with types of set. The first type is singleton set. A set which has only one element is said to be singleton set. If you observe set A, you have one element. So we can say that it is a singleton set. Similarly, if you observe set B, it has a single element. Then we can say that it is a singleton set. Second set, empty set or null set. That is a set without element is called as empty set or null set. It can also written as A is equal to pi, means null set. Third is finite set. That is a set which includes the number or elements and are terminated at certain place. So if you observe set A, you have numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After that it gets terminated. That is elements which can be count are said to be finite set. Fourth one, infinite set. A set with non-termination is said to be as infinite set. If you observe, A is a set with 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. It's not getting terminated. Therefore, you can say that set A is an finite set. Let's see the equal sets. If you observe, A is a set with the elements A, B, C and B is the uh, set with the element C, A, B. If you observe, in both the set, exactly same elements are present. So we can say that set A is equal to set B. Suppose you have a set C with 1, 2, 3 and B is a set with 2, 3, 1. Again, if you observe in the set C and set D, elements are exactly same. Then you can say that set C is equal to set D. Start with practice set 1.2. Question number 1. Decide which of the following are equal set and which are not. You have to justify your answer. So we have a is equal to curly bracket x such that 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 curly bracket close. b is equal to x such that x is a natural number but x is neither prime nor composite. C x such that x belongs to natural number and x is less than 2. Now these sets are given in set builder form. So first we will write them in listing method. So we know a is equal to curly bracket x such that 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. Here we will consider this equation 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. 1 when goes this side it becomes plus. So 3x is equal to 2 plus 1. 3x is equal to 2 plus 1 is 3. x is equal to 3 upon 3. Therefore 3 1s are 1s are. So x is equal to 1. So we got a as 1. This is, let this be your first set. Also, if you see the second one, b is equal to, we will write this in a listing method, it says x is a natural number, but x is not prime, not composite. 
So natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. A condition is x is neither prime nor composite. So only 1 is a number which is neither prime nor composite. So we will write this as statement number 2. Again, we will write the set C in listing method. So it says that x belongs to natural number. Natural number starts from 1 and it is less than 2. So less than 2 natural number will be 1. So this is my statement number 3. If you observe set A, set B and set C exactly same elements. So we can make the conclusion from 1, 2 and 3 set A is equal to set B is equal to set C. Question number 2. Decide whether set A and set B are equal with reason. If you see we have A is equal to even prime number B is equal to x such that 7x minus 1 is equal to 13. So we have to check whether the sets are equal or not. If you see both are given in set builder form. So first we will convert into listing method and then proceed. So A is an even prime number. What are prime numbers? Numbers which are divisible by itself other than 1. So we can write A the even prime number is 2. So this will be your statement number 1. Also if you see the next set B is equal to curly bracket X is that 7X minus 1 is equal to 30. Here we need to consider this equation. So here 7X minus 1 is equal to 13. 7X is equal to 13 plus 1. Since 1 when come this side it becomes plus. Further, it can be written as 7x is equal to 14, x is equal to 14 upon 7. Since there is a multiplication, when this value comes this side, it becomes division. So x is equal to 7 ones are 7 twos are. So you got the value of x as 2. Therefore, b is 2. If you observe statement number 1 and statement number 2, Set A and B have exactly same elements. Therefore, I can conclude from 1 and 2, set A is equal to set B. Question number 3. Which of the following sets are empty set? See the first question. A is a set where A is the element and A is a natural number smaller than 0. We know natural number starts from 1 but the condition is smaller than 0. So A will be empty set. There is no natural number which is less than 0. Therefore you can say that set A is an empty set. Now see the next one. B is a set which is equal to x such that x square is equal to 0. Therefore x square is equal to 0. Therefore x is equal to 0. Square root of 0 is 0. Therefore B has element 0. Therefore set B is not a empty set. See the third one, c is equal to x such that 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we need to solve this equation where x belongs to natural number. So here 5x minus 2 is equal to 0, minus 2 when goes this side it becomes plus. You have a multiplication between these two terms, so when it comes this side it becomes division. So x is equal to 2 upon 5. But x belongs to natural number whereas 2 upon 5 is not a natural number but a rational number therefore C is an empty set therefore we will conclude set C is an empty set 
Question number four. Uh, write the reasons which of the following sets are finite or infinite. See the first one. It says x is than x is less than ten and x is a natural number. So first we will write this in a listing method and we'll decide whether the set is a finite or infinite set. So a x is less than ten and these are natural numbers. Natural number starts from one. So we'll write here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Since the condition is less than ten, we'll write all the nat uh, natural numbers less than ten. Therefore, we can say that set A is a finite set. <coughs> Question number two. B is equal to y such that y is less than one and y is an integer. What are integers? Integers are negative numbers, positive numbers, including zero. Here the condition is given as it is less than minus one. So we can write set B as dot 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 minus four minus three minus two. If you see, you have a dot dot dot. Therefore, you can say that set B is in finite set. Question number three. If you see, C is a set of students of your class nine from your school. That means you can count the number of students in standard nine. Therefore, you can say that set C is a finite set. Similarly, we can solve the remaining sums. Question number four states: Set of people from your village. Now, set of people in your village means you can count the number of person in a village. As we do census after every ten years, so it is countable. So you can say that set is a finite set. See the next one, fifth one. Set of apparatus in laboratory. Since lab assistants keep and record of number of apparatus in the laboratory, you can say that this set is also a finite set. Next one is sixth question. Set of all numbers. Now, set of all numbers without the condition, then you can say that this set is an infinite set. The last one, set of rational numbers. Now, set of rational numbers without condition means it is an infinite set. Thank you.